stage, Bl Vlad Poposki. Hi everybody, my name is Vlad, and I'm here to tell you that sustainability in Australia is an absolute gimmick. <laughs> We've been mining uranium since 1906, distributed all over the world, which results in nuclear power, nuclear waste, nuclear bomb, nuclear war, destruction, but it's alright, I got this, I lost it at all, by bringing my shopping bags. <laughs> you want coffee these days? You bring your own mug. Yeah? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, um, it seems to me like if it's similar to like going to a restaurant and bringing your own dishes and cutlery if you want. It's because the restaurant is sustainable and saving water. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> See, to me it seems more like the explanation that sustainability is slave labour in disguise. You either bring your own stuff or you can use ours. But when you're done with it, you go and wash it. And when you're on your way out, please take this out to table number three. <laughs> yeah, see, sustainability is also about the money. We have way too much coal in Australia. And it's not until we use up this coal that we can start thinking about renewable energies. So I've decided to take them down from the inside. <laughs> now, I sit at home with all my lights on. <laughs> and currently in winter, I have the heater running with all the windows open. <laughs> I'm going to burn that coal and bring these guys down. Peacefully. <laughs> Earth Hour. Who thought of that? What a stupid idea. <laughs> I said, turn on all the lights and burn that coal. <laughs> Who's with me, I swear. <laughs> I get angry a lot lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the lack of sleep. Or it's became um, the older I get. But it's really the lack of sleep since I became a father. Um, I don't wake up fresh anymore. I wake up mad. <laughs> I love my daughter, she's one and a half, she's, she's beautiful, you know, but she's an asshole. <laughs> she must understand sustainability really well because she knows the slave labor concept really well. This is her at dinner time. <laughs> Let me explain that to those that don't have kids here. Oh daddy, you're so silly. Do what I want, because I know you're going to pick it up, because you're my bitch. <laughs> I love it. What else gets me mad? It's really some of the sustainable projects we do in the uh, construction industry. Um, yeah, they just seem pointless. Like, um, walking past, for six years I've walked past this six-star building, and not once have I seen the wind turbines on the roof spin. Like my client Davo, who Ended up with a gas co-generator, and for those that don't know what that is, it's, it's a really sustainable and clean way to power your building. I mean, he had a six-star building, but the problem was he wasn't connected. <laughs> you see, he said, oh, we only got it to get a point in this measuring system tool that we use that gives the buildings the energy rating. See those 300 meters on the wall? Yep, we also got a point. That's great. You can actually measure power and, you know, once you measure it, you control it. Nah, we retrenched the guy that knew the password. <laughs> <laughs> and who really wants to sit down and let it anyway? <laughs> to me, it seems like you can literally put a box, black box on the roof and call it cold fusion. You discovered cold fusion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be connected because on design, you will get a six star rating. You can get an eight star. But the reality is, if we award our buildings their efficiency rating, how they're designed, irrelevant to how they're performing, well, that's similar to most Tinder profiles. <laughs> Very far from reality. Really? Oh, you want a Nick? Sorry, no, my, my name is Mick. I misheard you. Thank you, everyone. You're doing great.